Hello everybody, Drifty here from Driftlet Gaming. In this RPG Maker Envy tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can make your basic tack or any other skills uh, have random animations and sound effects play when you use them so it doesn't look like the same thing over and over. This is uh, stemming from a special request that I received earlier, a couple days ago. And um, I showed the player how to, that person how to do it, but um, I thought it'd be cool to show everybody else since it was private messages. Um, so this is one way to do it as a skill but uh, you can do the same method to make it as your basic attack. So when we use this skill, there's one of three animations is gonna play. You can see that was like the circular uh, power attack uh, motion. But we could also get like a scratch attack. You just saw the scratch right there, perfect timing. And we could also get like a sword slash. Let's see if we get all three. That was the first one again. And this one. Same one as the punch effect attack. But you can basically get uh, three from the, from the way that I programmed it. So I'm going to show you how to do this. Um, easy way to do it is make a common event, uh, whatever change maximum if you have to call it whatever you want. Doesn't matter. Random attack. We're going to control variables. So right click, insert new, go to game progression, control variables. We're going to select a new variable, <clears throat> and it doesn't matter which variable you select. Just take a note of the number location. And, uh, this would be number location three for random attack. We're going to set this to a random number between 1 and the number of animations we want it to have. In this uh, demo, it's going to be 3. So once you've got that, that's your whole common event. You don't need to mess with anything else here. You're just controlling a variable, setting a, a random uh, number between 1 and the number of different animations you want it to have. Now let's go to our skills. If you want this to be your basic attack, you're going to put it right here on your attack. This will also make your enemies have uh, this random uh, attack as well if you do it here because enemies will use this skill as well. But for the sake of this video, since I already have some other uh, action sequence in my attack, I decided to, to make it as a skill to show you can do it as a skill as well. So we're going to um, use target action. Everything's going to be target action. If you want it to be like an, uh, an area of effect, like it hits everybody in the party or in your enemy's party, then you would do this as a whole action. So it would look like this like that and everything would go in there but for this uh, single attack it's going to be a target action <clears throat> Excuse me. so what we're gonna do is we're gonna call in this common event if we're using action sequences and you will need some plugins for this I'll put a link in the description below where you can get these plugins you will need Yanfly's core engine Yanfly's battle engine core and the action sequence pack expansion one uh, you might as well get all three though they're pretty cool um, so if you're using action sequences in your skill, it won't use any of the uh, common effects, basically. If you, if you do a common event, it won't really trigger until you tell it to. So we're going to action that common event. Now you could go common, common event, colon, and then uh, type in the number if you don't want to do that, or if you want to call on one and not put it there, it would work the same. But if you're putting it in your effects by going to other common event, selecting that random, <coughs> random one we just made, then we can just type in action common event and it'll take uh, this common event and run it right at the beginning. So as soon as you use the skill, it's going to roll a random number between 1 and 3. Now we're going to do a conditional statement. So we're going to say if, and whenever you do a conditional statement, it's going to be treated that one line as an eval, but you won't have to do opening closing, closing braces as if you were doing it in JavaScript. You would just have to specify that it's over with uh, the word in. So we would, we're going to say if, we're going to use parentheses to say that this is our conditional statement. Uh, we're going to do dollar sign game capital V on variables dot value. And in parentheses, this number right here is going to be the number of the variable that we're controlling in our common event. So if we look right here, we have, we're controlling variable number three. So it's important that you reference the same variable that you're randomizing at the beginning of the skill. So we're doing dollar sign game capital V on variables dot value three, because that's the third variable. And then we're going to close that parentheses for this opening parentheses. We're going to go equals, equals, equals to 1. And then we're going to close that parentheses. So now this is our conditional statement saying when this variable is 1, when there's a 33% chance of that happening, do this. So we're going to action animation. This is going to call the animation that you specified, the default animation that it would normally show over and over and over. <clears throat> we're going to type in wait for animation. That's going to make it so that it doesn't just skip past it super quickly. And then we're going to action effect. Action effect is going to issue whatever you have up in the top right corner here. So in this uh, case, it's ATK times 4. So it's basically a regular attack with 20% variance and chance of critical. And that's what action effect is going to do, issue damage. Then we're going to end because that conditional statement's over. But there's two more possibilities that could happen when you're controlling that variable. It could be a 2 and it could be a 3. So we have to define those 
Um, and otherwise, the skill will do nothing when it rolls two or three. So we're going to do another conditional statement. Basically the same thing. You go up here. You can just highlight that. Press Control c And after the end, press Control v and it'll paste it. But we're going to change one number. Now we're going to specify if the third variable is 2. Do this. But now we, we're not going to use action animation because otherwise what's the point of, of uh, doing it if we're going to call in the same animation? We're going to call in a different animation. So if you don't know which animation you want to use, go over to your animations, go through them, look at a couple of them, be like, oh, I like that. I want that to be my basic attack. And then when you find that, look at the number location. So we're going to type animation, space, and then the number location we want with a colon, and then we're going to say target. If you're doing whole action, you will say opponents and it'll look like this. Instead of target, you will replace this with opponents. But we're doing a single attack, so we'll just say target. Then we're going to wait for that animation that's going to play, and we're going to issue the damage, action effect. And then we're done with that conditional statement, so we have to say end. So we're not using open and closing braces. But there could still be a third, you know, it could roll a three, so we have to define what's going to happen when it's three. Do the same thing, you could just paste that again, change the one or the two to a three. So now we're saying when the third variable that we're randomizing at the beginning equals three, do this. So we're going to do the same thing. Pick another animation, type in the number location of that animation, and select targets. Once again, you will use opponents if you're using whole action and uh, targeting all of them. Then we're going to wait for animation and issue the damage. Then we're going to end that. And then we're going to have to close off the target action, otherwise it'll be like, um, it'll tell you undefined number or unexpected number or something like that error. It'll crash. So you have to do this closing brace with a little slash before target action. So we're closing off target action. You just put that in your skill or your basic attack, and it will issue a random uh, graphic whenever it, it, it does uh, the attack. So this is one way that you can spice up your skills and spice up your basic attack so that each time it could be different. And you can change this. Say you wanted to have 10 different animations, it's totally possible. All you have to do is go to your comment events, change this random number, 1 to 10. But you need to define what happens every time, so it could be a 4. So you can basically copy this whole section, if it'll let me highlight it, and then you're going to press Control C, go to the bottom, press Control V, and then change the number to 4, change the animation, and then you would just go to the bottom, paste it again, change the number to 5, change the animation. Really, really simple once you've designed it one time. So that's a, one way that you can make it so that you have random graphics and random sound effects playing uh, using the same skills over and over so they get uh, you can use them longer without them feeling redundant and boring. So I hope you guys like this tutorial. I know it's a little late today. I'm going to be doing another um, episode. Thursdays and Fridays are always super busy for me in real life. I got, you know, I'm trying to do three jobs. So, um... Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys for being supported. Remember to like, favorite, share, and subscribe. And uh, we will see you in the next tutorial.